You are listening and watching to a very special podcast. I do apologize for neglecting her, but let's get started on Randy's point of view. Let's get back on track, shall we? Yes, let's do this. <sighs> here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Okay. <clears throat> Randy Kerr and her friends are going on a mission. A new mission, a new world out there. And this world is some some part of Japan. Whatever this world was, it was strange, filled with familiars, filled with a lot of exorcists, quite different than Rin and Yukio's world. There was a shrine maiden that had a familiar. She went by the name Natsume. Randy managed to help her out in this case. Natsume was a pretty nice girl. However, she had a bit of a crush on Harutora. As those two seem to be some sort of relatives towards them. Perhaps maybe second or third cousin. Who knows? It could be possible. Overall, Natsume and Harutora got to know Barrer a bit. Randy managed to as well and managed to help out Natsume. Natsume was known as some sort of reincarnation of a shrine god or something. However, Randy managed to work with her. Even though Natsume was quite nice, but she has a bit of an attitude towards other people when she's angry. However, she wouldn't back down and she's one of the most mature people. However, dealing with this tall, pale-like monster in the midst, Randy managed to save Natsume and reveal her intentions being here. Natsume was pretty shocked, but decided to go with her. During it on back, with Natsume at her side, there was Verona. And man, she didn't really like the new company. She didn't really like Natsume all that much. It was quite a difficult task to be with, but it was going to be something that nobody else was going to forget. On another mission, Randy and the girls went to one full of monsters known as Tengus. And then there was monsters known as Tengus. However, to slay these monsters, there was none other than the Night Raid. There was a girl by the name of Akame with a sword, which Chloe got into interactions with. And of course, Barrera got into interactions with a boy named Tatsume. Brandy got acquainted with an upbeat girl by the name of Leon. It was a strange name, but she learned that her last name started with an E. Well, the last part in her first name was an E. Randy got to know about her, and boy was this girl the most relaxed and upbeat girl that Randy has come across. She was full of energy, and man was she a fire. But luckily, it seemed that the more she got to know her, the more Randy managed to come close. More monsters were coming. Randy managed to reveal herself as an agent and wanted to recruit Leon. Leon accepted and she smiled saying, How bad can this be? She said, Thanks. Thanks, Leona. She said, 
What are friends for? Leon Na said. However, after getting some recruits, Randy and the others were called in for a special mission to be in groups. Barrer, Randy, Marina, then there was Lola, and Maggie. Chloe was in a group alone. Actually, she had no other people to be with. Katrina was the same. Barrera was confused at first. Even Tilda had to be on her own as well, but she was in motorcycle gear. Randy stared at her in amazement, seeing how good she looked in it. Randy couldn't help but feel jealous. Man, look at her. She looks really good in that motorcycle gear. My beauty and my self in that outfit would never really go great together. Randy thought with just a little smirk on her face. However, after Tilda left, the others were going on this new mission to this whole new world. But when they got there, Randy could not believe what she was seeing. A city of destruction. It looked like some sort of apocalypse. But who knows for sure. All there is, there could be trouble ahead. Thank you so much for listening and watching. See you next time.